What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Unfiltered Beer Review. Today we've got one out of Asheville, North Carolina from Wicked Weed. This is their flagship IPA, the Pernicious. Another Wicked Weed. Mmm, this is a very delicious one. This one is 7.3% alcohol. Any idea what the IBUs on this thing is? You know, it doesn't say on the bottle. Couldn't find anything online. Yeah, Wicked Weed's mysterious. Yeah. This one was bottled on March the 30th of this year, so it's relatively fresh. That means it's going to be dank. Hell yeah. Wicked Weed uh, is putting this in both of their tap rooms now, their, their main one and also the Funkatorium. So it's, I guess, their flagship. Yeah, this one, I guess within the past year or so, is when they started putting these in four packs. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, it's going to be in kegs on tap other at other places, but you really can't go wrong with the Pernicious. Yeah, Pernicious is the best. These 11.2 ounce bottles are very weird. Wish they'd put them in either bigger ones or cans. Yeah, but that's what makes Wicked Weed unique. It's yeah. just like their bomber bottles, you know, they're not a full 22. I'm, I don't know what they are, but it's not a 22, it's unique. Wicked Weed's really blown up within the past year or so. Uh, from what I've read, it's very difficult to get into their place now without crazy lines and Most no seating. Yeah, this beer actually won the 2015 silver medal for the American Style IPA at the Great American Beer Festival. So if that says anything, then you know it should be pretty damn good beer. Were you ready to pop them open? See I, was, I was ready when we started this. Right. We didn't even have to talk. Could have just gone straight for it. First, whoop! God, you are spilling so much beer. Yeah, this flag needs a bath. Oh my God, I can already smell the tropical citrusiness from this. It's crazy how awesome it smells. Hell, you just need to start pouring it on the damn flag and smelling it from there. <laughs> Yummy. Got a nice head here. Very nice. Yeah, I'd say this is kind of like a really mild straw, golden straw color. Yeah, a little haziness, not too much. It's got a very clean white head, very clean. Aromas are already wafting. Yes. They smell so good. Very, very pungent fruit. Mm -hmm. I'd For say sure. grapefruit, orange. Lemon. Yeah, those hops are so strong in this. They're so good. And definitely with Wicked Weed, they do not skip out on the hops. They throw so much in there. I mean, this thing is just, you can just tell it's oily, it's resinous, it's dank. Yeah. It's so sweet smelling. It smells like you're running through a big field of just fruit, flowers, just very strong, sweet smelling things. Mm, it smells so good. Well, let's give it a taste. You ready to do that? Yep. Are you sure? Cheers. Are you positive? Cheers. I'm waiting on you now. <laughs> mm. Excellent. Eh? Yeah, very dank. Very, yeah. very dank. Yeah, the first thing you get is that citrus fruit. Mm -hmm. Tropical tasting, bananas, papaya. But, you know, with this being a Wicked Weed beer and knowing that they've just piled the hops in here, it's not really overly bitter. It's almost like those hops were just really balanced with everything. Yeah. And it's just, you're tasting it, but there's no bitterness, which is really surprising. Yeah, but and there's also is, no maltiness. And this is what, 7.3 you said? Yes. 7.3, it's really smooth. This is really well balanced beer. Hop forward, but not bitter. Very good. Very good, enjoyable mm -hmm. beer. Good crisp. It's clean beer. Get a little lacing, but not too much. What would you give a rating on this one? Is there anything higher than an A plus? How about Amaza balls? I guess an A plus is what I can give this. I, I don't know if you can go higher than an A+. Plus. If you can go higher than an A+, plus, then that's what this is. Well, it's your show. Why can't you go higher than it's an A+. Plus? It's not my show. It's your show too, Slick. No. I don't know what an Amazing Balls is. It's a fucking fantastic beer. So, fucking fantastic. 
I'm gonna go with fucking fantastic plus the nasal balls. What is an amazing ball? This beer right here. But there's no balls in it. No, but it's amazing balls. Do you think balls are amazing? Is that why you came up with that? Yeah, that's pretty good beer. I like it. I will continue to get this beer. This is, to me, my go-to IBA when it's available. You know, any Wicked Wee beer, you have to get there when it comes in stock because if you don't get there then, it's gone. And with the way that they're doing their distribution now, it's very select, so you don't get everything that they have. And yeah, yeah they're, these are probably the easiest Wicked Weeds to find, though. They're very common where you see Wicked Weeds, typically. Mm -hmm. And if you like a more bitter beer, they have a freak of nature. It's similar to this, except a more pronounced bitterness. Yeah, that's their double IPA, and mm -hmm. stay tuned for a review on that. That one is coming, but it's hard to find some beer. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's it for another episode of Unfiltered Beer Review. Drink good beer and stay frosty.